Yes, me ni lijulia kwa social media. So how did that make you feel knowing that listen, mm -hmm. to tumetoka mbali sana. High school sweethearts, it's not a small feat to date someone for that long mm -hmm. and they didn't trust you enough to tell you, listen, I want to bring in a second wife. Mm -hmm. So how did that make you feel and how did you view your marriage in this in these times? Sina semaga maembe na msimu. Ni msimu. Aha. Ni msimu yani yeah. kumaanisha mm -hmm. wengi watakuja wataenda. Unaona? Yeah. Even life itself yani hata kama una shida inakuja inaondoka. You see? So ni sawa mimi kwanza nitasema mimi sikuona harusi. Okay. Tuanze hapo. Mm -hmm. Maana kimi najua kuna watu wenye yani kukikucha tunajua watu wameamka mm. watu wamekula hii tumetoka tumevaa hii harusi ndio hatujaona yeah. eh mm -hmm. alafu na documents na nini ziko wapi so mimi kwanza siwezi sema nina mke mwenza ama yes bado tambui mm -hmm. bado sitambui <laughs> <Okay. laughs> but like, like um i wouldn't even ask about you get i wouldn't even ask about that situation because mm -hmm. i can tell you know of course auko you are just unajua pia ulionea social media kama venye sisi tulionea yeah. social media you yes. get and then you got dragged into this yes. whole situation this whole kuvutana mm -hmm. mara tunasikia to do with you yeah. exactly mara tunasikia umefanya umefanya sisi tunashangaa mimi na yuko wapi basi ajiongelele exactly. so there was this thing um a particular room and i think it's important for you to address it of course you know if you go on then you're going to find it over there because even we did it here because it was just you know people are talking about it yeah and blogs picked up the story mm -hmm. and they um those are particular i don't know it was an accusation or it was something being Allegation, thrown towards you yes. or it was just something being said mm -hmm. that at some point you wanted to you know end your Hi. life and your kids yes and your kids and you know <laughs> It was just all over the place and us we were like okay thank god you coming because at least you'll be able yes. to address it and tell guys what's actually happening. Ngoja nikuulize. Mhm. Mimi nime hustle, nimekula shida. Mhm. Yaani that time si kujua. Saa hizi ndo nitake kujua. Right now basically to those little things that me mwenyewe nilikuwa nataka nikiwa mdogo naweza ku afford nikapatia watoto wangu. Ni jua saa hizi. Yeah. Siwezi. So that was just a story people brought out. Yes. And thank you for addressing it because you know mimi unajua. Yes, yes. It's all it's all yani uongo tu mtupu. And just trying to make me look bad but and 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 that brings me to the big question. Mhm. I am a wife yes. and there are things we talk behind closed doors with yes. my husband mm -hmm. that I do not expect to hear outside and if I do I know outright because we were the both of us right Correct. so if you guys talked about things that she could ambare exposed kuna kuna vitu mingi sana anasema unajua hiyo ambassador wa positivity wenu mm -hmm. anasema hivi na ako hivi mm -hmm. anasema vitu probably hakukua yes. i mean it was just you and your husband yes. do you feel betrayed um you know i'll tell you something yeah mimi nasema guys siku zote marriage is not just kuoa kwa sababu ya yani kwa sababu umeolewa for the mm -hmm. sake marriage ina a lot of things unaona yeah. marriage is supposed to feel like yani mimi nikija nyumbani i'm speaking to my husband you know the way you feel outside like nataka tuenda nyumbani i want to vent and but ikifika place ambao yani for all those things to say alimwambia me i feel disrespected yeah. it's disrespect in the highest order and I, it's not that i feel betrayed but yeye ndo atakuwa answerable in the future like nilisema hivi kwa nini nilifanya unaelewa yeah. Isi kwangu yani si mimi nita mhukumu ama nitasema nini mimi ninamwachia Mungu. Yeah. Yes. Kwa sababu kesho his kids will grow up and read. They will read. Watasemaje? Have you had a discussion with her with him about this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what are you doing? Acha tutajibiwa. Check you say triple yeah. one, triple <laughs> triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line on Facebook to party pia huko. Uliza maswali zenu atatujibu tukirudi so you have to stay right here. We'll take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. Yes guys um welcome back and I know mko na maswali mingi but hapa hivi Jane amesema we si Amira ni mpoa nifiki ngoja nifikiriaga 
I think an happy girl got a wadi kari kifi kiriya kani mimi but abani kano fikiriaga kani mimi si juu ninge kwa police station but anyway na mochia tu pia yeye si kuiko so that is um Jane and Asema she's actually you know she's saying you you know you've done pretty well you know ninge kwa nimtu mengine ninge kwa kuna mtu alikanyagua you know kuna barrel ninge kwa ina plani or something you know because we've seen these sort of cases like what wali kosa nevo kidogo and mtu akamwa to the extreme end so that's amazing but you know um we have to also talk about this um there was also another allegation apparently me mm-hmm. I, i do love the fact that you're here and you say your side of the story mm-hmm. we did the story here apparently you left a message kwa bluetooth ya gari mm-hmm. yenye ilikuwa ukiingia unapata ile ya connection hapo kidogo ilikuwa imeandikwa ume, ume establish your you know your your place mm-hmm with um Jamal. Mm-hmm. So was it true ama ilikuwa ngapia one of these um fake stories we're just hearing? No, it's not true. Mhm. Asabu she can write all the false things. So mm-hmm. how hard is is it for her to just kuchukua simu na kubadilisha afu kupiga picha ku nani kuiweka pale ndo nikae. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. Eh, yeah. hey, inanfaidi nini? Yeah. Nothing. Have, ha- have your kids learned about these things or they are completely mm-hmm. unaware because you're a mom you know yes. and your kids are older mm-hmm. i've seen them yes but uh, i try to give my kids as much peace as they can mm-hmm. they're kids it's not even important for them to to know such things mm-hmm. but nimesema they will grow up inshallah yeah. but they will come and see i hope they make the kids proud kabla tuende break kuna swali nilikuuliza utajibu like do you uh, do you guys talk you and your husband <laughs> sometimes okay mm. all right thank you i will not even but you know, moving forward okay i'll just ask this cuz you know uh, we've had of so many situations mm-hmm. and the same na case yako na get but maybe wengine hata maybe they're going through the same thing mm-hmm. as women yeah. and they just you know they and even yetu wajulikane maybe they're not dealing with someone who's known yes. so their situation is not out there <laughs> What would you tell someone who's in your shoes right now? Yes. Someone who's gone through the same thing. Pia alikaka shtukia. He. Kumbe siko ati tena si mimi peke tuko nani na nani na nani. Cuz you know sometimes people just shtukia kama venye tu lishangaa all of a sudden. Yeah. Kwa social media. Mm-hmm. What would you tell someone who's in your shoes right now? Going through the same thing or someone who's gone through the same thing? Mhm. Mm-hmm. Actually mimi na sasa kuna kuna wengi a lot of women dm me mm-hmm. with the same issue aki yes. ana wake wanapitia maneno hata mm-hmm. but you know the, at the end of the day i say this yani kuna za kuwa na mvua mm-hmm. and then you decide nitakaa hapa ninyeshewe ama will i walk through the storm and make it to the other side mm-hmm. you see it all comes to a decision and then every day look at yourself in the mirror you'll just see yourself you have yourself yani you have to Yani ukwe na nguvu ujikaze mm-hmm. just pray you will st- you will make it one day i've been there mm-hmm. mimi ni hustle from zero i'm telling you mm-hmm. yeah. ushaenda gikomba ewe mm-hmm. eh mimi ni hustle gikomba yeah. nimepigana na wanaume tunavutania huko matoko manini <laughs> but see god yeah. you see th- your time will come even if it's not now mm-hmm. ndio maana napenda nasema maembe ni msimu yani shida zako even if it's you s- yani unaona kama ni kitu kubwa for now but mimi najua eventually itakuja kupita. Amen. Yes. Amen. And yesterday we were talking about uh, seeing someone's dream and mm-hmm. vision mm-hmm. and w- as long as they are working towards bettering yes. themselves and they are working on themselves then you can give them a shot. But let me take you back to the high school days. What did you see in Jamal? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, I had a skumbuki one. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think right now we are not sure mm-hmm. what decision you'll make or what the future holds? Are you tamkia kesho to scan in your anything? Okay, yeah. But do you think in your heart you can find it to forgive mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. and move past that situation? Mm-hmm. Or have you thought of a situation where maybe he'll he might want to, you know, get back with you and you guys, you know, work things out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Have you thought of, you know, situation where you have to accept her as a second? Hey, apo makoko. <laughs> That's like a no. <laughs> so, have you thought of these situations and uh-huh. maybe what you do looking for? Do you feel like it's something you want to be out of kabisa ama kidogo you can cons- hey. What's your thought right now? Like where are you at right now? How do you feel? 
going first, forward. Mm -hmm. I don't think um, they need forgiveness from me. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, yani nasema it's ni yani ni wow wenyewe mm -hmm. na nafsi yao na mungu wao. Mm -hmm. You get? So na pia mi nasema ga kila kitu unafanya mm -hmm. nimesema tena kesho watoto watakuangalia watasema as in, as in, what did you do did you make your kids proud or you get at yeah. the end of the day yeah. and then siwezi nikajua kesho Mungu amepanga nini mimi nitasema inshallah yeah. Mungu amepanga itakuwa mazuri itakuwa mazuri itakavyokuwa mm. Mungu anajua Amira pale kwenye insta story unatupikia kwenye. Unatufunza mapishi mtoto unapika. So you look 